Well, good morning to you. Welcome to another edition of Expert Alert here on WLOX. Uh, we uh, bring in different people from along the Gulf Coast and different uh, areas of business to talk about uh, their expertise, things that they do and to help people uh, along the coast. And one of the major things is being able to be diverse, and especially with the many different um, people that live here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And one of those companies that uh, is great at that is Bradford O'Keefe. And uh, yes, Jules is here with us again this morning. And uh, welcome uh, back to the show. Yes, sir. Uh, you've Thank got you a special us. guest with us this morning, if you would introduce her. Yes, I do. So I'd like to introduce Miss Orlean Ortiz. Arlene, she's really been doing an awesome job with Bradford O'Keefe. She's a huge asset to the team. And I really wanted to give her time just to shine, kind of let everybody know her background, um, moving here and everything, and kind of how she um, wraps into the preemie team. Oh, okay. So um, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, if you would. Like, uh, where did you move from? Sure. So um, I'm married. I have four children. I have two boys, two girls. We are originally from Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, I raised my family there, and um, we just kind of got tired of the weather there, the blizzards and all that, so we decided to go south and we chose a city outside of Houston. It's called Katy, Texas. Mm -hmm. So we lived there for the past four years. So from from here, we're from Katy, Texas. Okay, of course, they've got the, the snow going on over there right. now. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you move to the Mississippi Gulf Coast? Well, is what happened is we went on vacation and on our way back from vacation, it was really late at night. We spent the night to sleep in Biloxi. We had to pass through here. And we knew the water was close by, but we really didn't see it. And um, we got a motel, and when we got up the next morning and looked out the window and the water was right there, it was like, oh, wow, you know, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. So um, we, I, I started looking into it and everything, and I, I told my husband, I was like, you know, we could do pre-need almost anywhere. So I started looking for a pre-need manager and I came across, um, got in contact with Justin O'Keefe. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, he interviewed me and he really liked that I um, am bilingual and thought that I would um, be of great help to them with the Hispanic community here. Right. So, so he you are fluent in Spanish. I am, I am. And I could read, write, and speak fluent Spanish. So um, he gave me a job. We went home, packed up, and came to Biloxi. And I mean, the, the Mississippi Gulf Coast has become such a melting pot of uh, the people that are from uh, different countries and everything, like, you know, from um, uh, Mexico and uh, those areas, um, right. um, um, the Vietnamese as well. Mm -hmm. So um, <clears throat> how long have you been a pre-need counselor? Um, only for two years. I'm in my second year. I started out with life insurance. Mm -hmm. um, so I have three mm -hmm. years in insurance and two years of pre-need. And why, why did you choose pre, I mean, I did it, I, I know you've heard the story that I, I did it before up in Tennessee. What made you decide to be a pre need counselor? Well, um, like I <clears> said, <throat> I started with life insurance and um, it was just kind of complicated for me to do that. And so a personal friend of mine in Houston um, was the pre need manager. And um, he, I was just, you know, mentioning to him that life insurance was just wasn't going really well for me. So he says, well, come and work for me. And um, I, I honestly had no idea what pre need was about. I didn't know that you could even, you know, plan your funeral in advance. And when he was talking to me, I was like, wow. I mean, he just opened my eyes to, you know, a whole new world. And I decided this is it, this is what I wanna do. It, it seems so rewarding to me being able to help people um, protect their families in this way. So I decided to make this my career. Oh, well how, how can you help bridge that gap with our Latino community? Well, you know, where because I am bilingual and my husband is from Mexico, not only with work, but um, also in our personal life, we are going to be mingling so much with the Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think, you know, as time goes on and we build those friendships with people, they're going to realize what I do. And I think they're going to be comfortable because of the friendship that I made with them. Um, if they want to pre, um, prearrange their funerals, they'll, they could come to me and do that. And I think there's so many here that wanted to do that, but because of the language barrier, um, they shied away from it. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm here and my personal goal is to help as many Hispanic families as I can who want to protect their families in this way. What can a family expect when they meet with you for the first time? Well, you know, um, prearranging your funeral for some people um, is not an easy subject to talk about and I realize that. 
So when a family invites me into their home, the first thing I try to do is just become their friend. Um, I like to visit with them and ask them questions and um, where are you from, you know, what do you do, and just visit with them, just become their friend. They ask right. me the same yeah. questions. So I, I build a friendship with them first. And a lot of times without them even realizing it, they tell me what their wishes and desires are just with the simple conversation. So I am better equipped to help them mm -hmm. um, with planning their funeral without uh, making it awkward and having to ask those, those hard questions because just with simple conversation, they tell me. Yeah. So um, I try to make the experience um, joyful and you know not negative you know planning my funeral well you earn their trust exactly. I mean, because this is a really exactly. big decision that they have to make you know right. like you said a lot of people don't think about um, planning their funeral their own funeral or uh, or, or a loved one but um, uh, when they when you gain their trust and you say hey this is this is really important this takes a lot of pressure off the rest of the, the family if something were to happen to you right yeah, so my goal walking out of their house is knowing that um, I helped this family and it was a joyful, nice experience. What, do you, what would you say is the top reason to pre-plan your funeral arrangements? Um, for sure, peace of mind. Um, and with me being a mother of four children, um, I like to know that I can live my life and if the unexpected happens, of course it's not gonna take away the pain, but I know that they're not going to be burdened with extra things because I've already taken care of everything. So for sure, peace of mind. And I think, uh, you know, there are so many of those that uh, are uh, in the uh, Latino co community that uh, aren't aware of all the different choices that they do have. Right. Um, you know, as, as far as, you know, when it comes to uh, making arrangements. Right. Right, and I think it's important too that um, being able to hear all of that in their mother language is so important for them to really understand, you know, the options that they have. So mm. it's yeah. super important. Well, we have just a couple of minutes left, so I want you to tell us in Spanish and English, uh, you know, where that uh, someone can reach you um, and uh, schedule an appointment with you, and what areas of the coast that you uh, um, that uh, that you cover. I mean, you can. Look right there and you can tell our viewers, and again, if you would, in Spanish and English. Okay, sure. So I work in, um, they have six funeral homes on the coast here, and I work in all six of them. Um, it doesn't matter. My telephone number is 228-331-3659. Um, that's my cell phone number you can reach me at. Um, y muy buenos días a todos. Um, como ya mencionaron, mi nombre es Arlene Ortiz y estoy aquí para ayudar a todos ustedes um, que quieren hacer un, un uh, plan funeral. Y si quieren hablar conmigo, mi número de teléfono es 228-331-3659. Y con mucho gusto voy a ayudar a todos ustedes. Muchas gracias y nos vemos pronto. That's awesome. I know, she's such a Never understood a word. I, I caught a, a word or two here or there, but uh, yeah, you know, yes, everything sir. else. Uh, um, but uh, I think that's uh, amazing and, and wonderful you. that the service that you are bringing here uh, to the Latino uh, community on the Mississippi Gulf Coast and helping Thank them, you. Um, you know, make those uh, the final decisions again, because it is, as Jules and Justin and I have talked about so many times, um, how important it is to pre-plan, you know, for things like that. And again, as you said, not something you really want to talk about, right? But it is something that uh, is necessary. It, it needs to be done. Exactly. Um, again, and as you said, peace of mind is the number one thing, right? Because uh, w because it's so much different. Whenever you, um, it's it's an emotional expense because whenever you someone, if you plan it ahead of time, you don't have all those emotions coming out that when it's at need, a sudden occurrence. I mean, we, we hear all the time of uh, you know people passing away unexpectedly right and um, you know in accidents or whatever and you know there's no telling what the percentage is and uh, that I would say probably a majority of them mm -hmm. that don't have plans made right you know and, and uh, it um, I don't mean this to sound morbid but death knows no boundaries as far as uh, the different um, you know uh, communities so right. to speak you know English uh, Hispanic, um, Vietnamese or whatever uh, here along the Gulf Coast. Death knows no uh, boundaries. That's right. right. Uh, so it, it is a better peace of mind. Arlene, thank you again for being here with us. Uh, we we appreciate me. you. Jules, yes, good, to you good to see you as always. As always. Uh, if you'd like some more information, of course, you can um, call Bradford O'Keefe Funeral Home and again to um, our uh, Latino community. Uh, 
you can call and ask for Arlene and she'll be happy to help you out there. Thank you again for being here with us for another edition of Expert Alert on WLOX. If you have a question for any of our experts, go to WLOX.com and click on Expert Alert. For a list of any of our upcoming experts, go to WLOX.com and click on Expert Alert.